Hello, I'm Jason Skill. This is Painting with Skill Lesson 7. In this lesson, we'll be looking at tonal value, how to control tonal value in your brush. So the paint that's held in the brush is the key part of painting. What a lot of people get concerned with is what's the tonal value that they see in the palette. But as you actually press it onto the paper, the key bit that you've got to think about is what's the tonal value and how much paint, how much water is in my brush. Most of the work that I do to control that is in the water pot not necessarily in the palette. Let me explain. If I make an amount of paint, here I've taken some Prussian blue and I'm just stirring that and I've got a little bit of water in the palette and I'm going to make an amount of paint about the size of an old penny and that's the size that most jobs are around that. If I fill my brush full of paint here and I go down this piece of paper it'll make probably something four, five times the size of an old penny just held in the brush. So it's going to do the jobs that you need to do quite easily with just what is held within the one brush. This is a size 12 that we discussed earlier. Um, now let's say I want to make this paler. I've decided that the tonal value of this paint in the, in the palette is a little bit dark. So I'm going to add some water to it. What you automatically find people will do is they're naturally inclined to pick the water from the water pot and they will add the water to the palette to dilute it. And I've added several brushfuls now. And then I'll recheck it and I think, mm, it's probably a little bit, uh, still a bit too dark. And because they've now got lazy at not wanting to do this time and time again, they'll think, right, well, I'll, I'll pick up my water, uh, my main wash brush, and I'll pour some of that into there. Now I've got a huge amount of paint and it's very pale. So I think, oh, hang on, it's a bit pale. What I now need to do is to add some more paint. So because I've made so much of it, I then go to the paint and I really add some heavy amount of that paint. And then I look at my paint and I think, oh, you know, actually, it's just a bit dark. I'll, I'll add some more water. So we're back to adding water again into the water pot. Now, I've basically, I've made a small lake, and I only need to, to basically make enough paint to cover an old penny. So you find that people will spend an awful lot of time adding water, adding paint, adding water, adding paint to their palette, when actually they're not thinking about the size of the job that they're going to do, just trying to get the correct tonal value. So let's look at that again. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of that initial paint. And I'm just going to make a smallish amount in the palette. And then I'll just test it and think, hmm, that's a bit dark. Now, instead of adding water from the water pot into the palette, I'm just going to think, well, actually, I'm only dealing with the brush. So I take my paint in this brush and I think I'll dilute that in the brush by going into the water pot. Now, you'll see me in a lot of the videos that I don't necessarily stick the brush straight down into the main belly of this uh, water pot. I'll push it to the edge. What I'm doing is that way, if I place it against the edge, I can judge how I just dip the tip into the water. And by doing that, I can then minutely alter the tonal value. So let's do that again. I go from the palette and think, oh, that's a bit dark. I go to the water pot and I just dilute it a bit. I might press the brush at the edge of the pot, maybe even shake it a tiny bit to just loosen out some of the paint. And I think, yeah, that's the tonal value I need. I'm now ready to paint. I haven't gone from the water pot to the palette, water pot, palette, add paint, add make a small lake. I'm just doing that one thing quickly. Paint, is it the correct tone? No, I'll dilute it a bit. Water pot, slightly dilute it down and then place it in the uh, correct place in your picture and then we're done so it's that simple think brush when you're thinking tonal value that was lesson seven in lesson eight we'll begin to look at how to make brush marks